morning guys and welcome back to another day of vlogmas uh, i'm actually about to go run out the door right now i'm gonna go to Publix really quick and then i also am going to go to starbucks to grab a coffee and then i'm going to record a q a so you guys will see that separate from this video but i had asked on my instagram um some like health and fitness and like just like wellness questions that you guys have for me um to answer for y'all and i'm going to do that as like a separate video just so that you guys can have that before the new year because i feel like it's like a good little you know health and wellness get ready for the new new year new me no just kidding but i feel like i always like to sit down in my car and have something to drink while i record a q a and it's been a long time since i've recorded a q a so um we're gonna do that and get some caffeine in us and then uh after that we'll come back get ready for the gym so good morning good morning i like rushed out of the house and i'm fully wearing my slippers so that's disgusting but we're going into Starbucks, and I guess I need to clean these when I get home. Okay, I just got done recording a Q&A, and I just grabbed Jay's, oh my gosh, I almost just tried using my bracelet as a hair tie. I guess I don't have a hair tie. What the heck? Um, I just got done recording a Q&A and I got Jason his coffee. I wasn't going to get his coffee when I got mine because obviously I just talked for so long. I literally just said, wow, that was like a really short q and I hope that that's long enough for people. I looked back, 27 minutes. I'm like, dude, can I shut up? <laughs> Do I know how to stop talking? Like, I don't even think I answered that many questions, but I'm gonna head home and I will see y'all in a few. I got Americano, Jay got cold brew with oat milk. We both got oat milk and stevia in there. Time to go home. Here's my very shocking pre-workout snack. Delish, if it ain't broke. All right, I'm about to leave to the gym. Here's my outfit. I've got this Sweet Awakenings bra on from Lululemon. A line biker shorts. I've got my New Balances on. I haven't worn these to work out. I don't know if ever. And then I have my Lululemon crew neck on and my Lululemon gym bag. And then I already mixed up my pre-workout wallet keys. Let's do it. Okay, y'all, this is actually kind of crazy. Okay, so this makes perfect sense because you're like a Rod Wave type of a person. So I Wave. didn't even know Rod Wave existed before I started dating Jay. And the Lumineers are like some of my favorites. And there's um, this Sleep on the Floor song by the Lumineers that I absolutely love. And it says, pack yourself a toothbrush, do you? What does it say? Take all of your savings out. Yeah, with your slip. And then, so I'll play a little bit of that in a second. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. And then there's also the Rod Wave song, which is Never Find Us. And it says the exact same thing. So I don't know if Rod Wave, maybe this is like not new information. Maybe he'll know this. Yeah, I don't no, think it's, anyone it's would not, notice that. It's not too new. Um, yeah, basically like the Lumineers came out with their song, whatever it's called. What's it called? It sleep on the floor. Sleep on the floor. I imagine that Rod Wade was writing his album, and then he took that like beginning part of the sleep on the floor song, and he just put it into like the middle of his song. Yeah. Like, we caught on to it, so. Yeah, I guess I probably shouldn't play play a part of it because I don't want to get copyrighted. But yeah. regardless, so cool. Tell him to like listen to sleep on the floor. Yep. And then go and listen to never find us. Yeah. By Rod Wave. And yeah, so you guys. What's crazy is that I had um, Sleep on the Floor playing, and then you were like, wait, that's the same lyrics. Yeah, I heard the lyrics. And as like, Rod what? Wave. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. And I love both of those songs. <laughs>
Jay is judging me right now because I literally watch YouTube while I'm working out. I have vlogs going at all times of the day. Look at you. Yeah. Strong yeah, my hand. I already feel that. Split squats with it? Yeah, split squats will do it. Yeah, brutal. Home from the gym, changed into some comfy clothes, just this cute little aloe set. It's like this aloe long sleeve. And then these aloe shorts that I had on this morning. Um, back in my slippers and I'm going to make a little tuna sandwich again, like the open face tuna sandwich that I had yesterday. Um, I think I'm gonna change it up just a little bit and add some of this cilantro dip that I got yesterday. And then I'm going to head to hang out with my sister and my mom as long as the weather is better. It has been storming all morning and we had a tornado watch. I don't know if we still have a tornado watch, but I'm obviously not going to drive if it's so bad out because I cannot drive in the rain regardless of um, if it's a tornado watch or not. So right now I'm going to make something to eat and then I also need to go to Nordstrom. I forgot that I ordered like a leather jacket that was on sale and I just ordered it for pickup rather than delivery. So I think I need to run by there if the weather is okay. For now, I'm going to do these cute little mini um, avocados and then throw this all together. I've got my bread in my toaster right now. This is the bread that I use and I just store this in my refrigerator. And then I'm gonna do one of these tuna packets and then I'm gonna make like a little bit of a mixture with the avocado, the tuna packet, and then this cilantro stuff. And then I'm going to do a couple slices of tomato. Yeah, those are toasted enough. So let's get to it. Oh gosh. Did not mean to do that. Dude, what? I could take a massive nap today. I know it's so <laughs> stormy out. It's so chilly. I think my bread got all smushed in the refrigerator, so my bread's kind of funky sizes, but that's okay. Grab a straw real quick. I think it made it so much better, this tuna avocado mash, because I added that cilantro dip. Because yesterday it was like kind of really hard to make it mashed up. And I think I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Okay. I kind of want to put that tuna on my um my eggs and toast. Oh. <laughs> Does that sound gnarly? <laughs> I mean, it kind of sounds gross to me, but I think to each their own. You said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment here, to be honest. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A little extra protein. Yum, this looks so good. And then I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of this coconut aminos on here. Yum. This literally looks amazing. And then to drink, I'm doing this coconut water that I got from Thrive. And here is the final product. Delicious, so easy too. Literally takes no prep. <laughs> Is that a lawnmower? <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Has he ever made that noise before? And the dogs just barked so loud it scared us out of our skin and he never woke up. Oh. Those song hogs. 
Did he did he not sleep last night? Um, he slept fine. I don't know why he's out so hard. He's <laughs> out hard. Out hard and he is a literal weed whacker. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my outfit for today, my cozy day fit, because it's so stormy. I've got these aloe shorts on that they're actually like kind of long. <laughs> they're kind of long on me, but I don't mind them like that actually. Um, I normally just roll them over and then this aloe shirt that I was showing a couple minutes ago, here's a better look at it. It's actually kind of like a crew neck, very lightweight crew neck, kind of in between a long sleeve and um, like a super light sweatshirt, but it is so comfy. It reminds me of like pajama material almost. It's so cozy. And then I just have my slides on. I'm gonna run to Publix and we're just gonna grab a couple things. Like I need paper towel, toilet paper, just random things like that. Um, and I think Jay needs to get some groceries for himself because that's where he grocery shops. So he's gonna tag along with me and I haven't decided if I'm going to make my way over to my sister and my mom because obviously the weather's kind of crazy and I don't wanna drive in the storming weather. So we're gonna see how that is and then I'm also going to stop at Nordstrom while we're out if it's not too bad. It doesn't bother Jay as much driving in the storm so he'll drive, he'll drive us at least to go run these errands but my sister's about like ha a half hour away so I don't want to be caught in the storm um, driving myself. I literally hate driving if you guys have not caught that vibe. <laughs> Made it over to my sister's. I think that we're going to decorate some cookies here in a couple minutes. I got these from, what is it called? Uh, where did I get this from? Where did I get the cookie kit from? William Sonoma. William Sonoma, yeah. Cute little gingerbread cookies. I was thinking that I was gonna do the gingerbread houses, but I just think that's beyond my, um, my abilities because I am not very good at that kind of stuff. So I guess you just add water to this icing and it came with like some sprinkles, some gumdrops. Yeah, that'll be super cute. Right now we're just hanging out over here with the TV on. And we've got Mr. Man right here. Oh, okay. Hey, smile. <laughs> You're hey buddy. You're fine. I think I only have the clear sticky stuff. Are these to like spread it or something? I don't even know. Are you saying that you want some frosting or something, Miss Lilo? You're a talkative man back there, mister. Mm -hmm. A pretty big cookie. Mm -hmm. You may wonder, oh, why didn't we make some cute gingerbread cookies? Well, probably because, or gingerbread houses. Well, probably because we're not even capable of doing cute gingerbread cookies. <laughs> oh, looking good over there. <laughs> okay, I'm headed to my eyelash appointment. I've just been spending some time with family. I've got paper towel and toilet paper in the back seat, um, so don't mind that. I went to Publix and haven't unloaded that, but. I spent some time with family and I think that something I've done a really good job with lately is just remembering that um, life's too freaking short and I need to spend more time with the people that I love and that love me because um, something that I'm the queen of and I always have been is being like I'm way too busy I'm busy I'm I've got too much going on to do this and to do that and then next thing you know it I isolate myself because I think that I need to run myself into the ground and I know that that's probably something that a lot of other people struggle with too is like we go 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 and we don't give ourselves enough time to slow down and be like okay you need to actually like reach out to the people that you care about and actually spend some time with them so for so long I was like if I did meet up with my family even though I love them so much I'm blessed with the actual best family in the world but um, even if I would meet up with them it'd be like super quick so that I could get right back to work and if I was with them I'd have my laptop with me and I would likely be working and 
At the end of the day, you can put your work away for an hour. You can find some time to spend a little, I don't know, quality time with them is just, you can't get it back. And work is always gonna be there. And I love my job and I love everything I do with online coaching, but it's very time consuming and um, it's easy to feel like you're never doing enough with social media and with online coaching. So I think that that's something that I just need to continue to remind myself of. And I think uh, I think it was like last, last week maybe, my dad um, had a friend in Michigan reach out and was like, hey, like, do you wanna go to this, I think it was a basketball game maybe? Uh, maybe like it was like a Mich Michigan basketball game or something and my dad was like, you know I could be doing this like I'm kind of busy But at the end of the day like we're not getting any younger and I think that that kind of stuck with me because he was like there's worse things than having friends um, And family want to spend quality time with you and that he was talking about himself and I'm like, yeah I think I need that reminder too because um, my dad my mom my grandparents whenever they're in town and even my sister being 30 minutes away I'm like I could make way more time to spend with them and also just to reach out to my grandparents and to reach out to the people that it would mean a lot to hear from me so that's just what I've been thinking about it was really fun just decorating cookies I wasn't there for super long because um, I had to wait out the storm and then I have this 515 appointment for my eyelashes um, I originally had this lash appointment tomorrow, but my mom leaves tomorrow, so um, I'm gonna go back over to my sister's tomorrow and hang out with them and then take my mom to the airport. So lots of good quality time. Um, we did a little bit of work, of course, like I'll be holding the baby and my sister will help me with some work and then um, she'll hold the baby and I'll do work and so that was good. We still could spend some time together, but yeah, so that's just my reminder if you need it that we all could reach out to the people that care about us just a little bit more. And we work to live, not live to work. Am I right? I'm right. Okay, well, I'm gonna get my lashes done. And we, after that, we're just gonna go home. And I'm gonna eat dinner. And I wanna watch a movie. Last night we watched this movie called Love Hard on Netflix. I think it came out last year, maybe. I think it said 2022. And it was really cute. It was like about online dating or something like that. And that she got catfished and then, oh wait, maybe I shouldn't, I'm sorry. That was a spoiler alert. I'm sorry. Um, regardless, <laughs> hopefully you guys have already seen it or hopefully that didn't spoil it too much for you. But regardless, it was a cute movie and I really wanna watch another Christmas movie tonight because I'm just, it's so cozy having um, the Christmas tree on and maybe I'll wrap some presents tonight that'll be good that sounds like a good wholesome little night and I will see y'all probably when I get to my last appointment and then we'll head home I just had one these are like my literal favorite I tracked them down when I was on vacation in California I think that they're only in LA because I know that they sell them at Air One and then they sell them at like a couple other shops like we were at a nutrition shop and we got our acai bowls and they were there but they are just like my my favorite obsession when they are gluten-free, dairy-free, and they're refined sugar-free. So it's hard not to order them. It is pretty expensive to get them shipped here. Eventually I need to try making them myself, it, or myself. It cannot be too hard. But I honestly, I don't even feel like trying right now. It's chickpeas, coconut flour, cocoa powder, maple syrup, organic coconut milk, baking powder, sugar-free chocolate chips, and that's it. So, easy peasy, I'm sure. <laughs> For dinner, I'm just having a little leftover bowl, nothing nothing really crazy. I'm doing ground turkey. If you guys saw my vlog from yesterday, I did sweet potato nachos. So tonight, I'm just doing the rest of that ground turkey and then some cauliflower rice, some um, spring mix coconut aminos, and I'm doing some pico and a little bit of salsa on there. I think that's everything. I might add some avocado, but literally just a leftover bowl. About to jump in the shower. I, I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight, but just need to obviously do a body shower. And then I have lots of tidying up to do. I just have random stuff sitting out 
I went to Publix today and got new toothpaste and new mouthwash and tampons and all the things. So I need to put everything away, my self-tan stuff from the other night. And then I also have so many clothes. This is reality, y'all. So when I was gone out of town before I left, I had so much laundry I needed to do. And then I also had some stuff come in, like lots of Lululemon stuff and aloe stuff that came in while I was gone. And then I'm doing all of my laundry from when I was on my trip. So I just have a ton of stuff that I need to put away and I have not had the chance to even fold it because a lot of my stuff gets hung up. So I just need to make sure that this is all done before the night ends. So first I'm gonna take a shower, get in my pajamas, and then we will get to tidying. The vibes are right in here. I've got my candle lit over here. I don't know if you can see it um, down here, but I've got candles lit. I am just winding down. I just washed my face and I'm about to brush my teeth and floss and whatnot. I normally will brush my teeth and then brush them again after I drink tea just because um, I like to have, like, I don't know. I'm like a weirdo about brushing my teeth. So I normally will brush my teeth twice, but a lot of times he'll be like, you brush your teeth and then you have tea that defeats the purpose. But, um, I do it after right before bed as well. I just like to have my teeth brush after I eat dinner. Um, and then not that I need to explain myself for brushing my teeth. And then, um, I'm going to put some clothes away. I'm going to get in some cute, comfy, Christmas pajamas and get all cozy. Last night we were able to wind down um, and watch a Christmas movie together, which normally I feel like I never do. I never like just relax at night. So last night I think it was like 8.30 or so and was able to watch a Christmas movie and just hang out with Jay for a while. So I'm hoping that tonight is the same. It's only 7.20 right now, so we're on track for a good little night of um, just chilling. I was able to knock out a lot of work today. I um, am wearing my aura ring again. I don't know if you guys noticed that um, just today I've been wearing it. I found my charger finally, so that's exciting. Um, it was in a random drawer <laughs> and it's not like a typical charger, so. I was just going to order a new one, but I ended up finding it, and um, now that I have my period back, which is beyond exciting because I feel like I'm able to track it better, and I feel like I'm able to use my aura ring even more because I think they, like, it's natural cycles, I think is what it's called, that connects with it. So I um, bought a year membership of that, and I think that they, like, send you a thermometer or something. I don't know exactly how it works. I need to read into it more, but it basically is like tracking your, um, like your period cycles and like knowing all of that with your temperature, I guess. I actually, I don't know everything, but I also just like to have my aura ring so that I can, um, know my sleep schedule and know like what kind of recovery I have because um, I haven't been using it in the last like month or so. So I'm going to put on some pajamas, brush my teeth first, put on some pajamas, and then we will get to organizing because I just want to make sure I have a clean, tidy space um, before tomorrow because today it kind of stressed me out that I had clothes everywhere. I'm finally just about caught up on um, laundry, so that feels good. I'm in these cozy Christmas pajamas that I got from Abercrombie. I got matching ones for me and Jay, and I love them. I'm going to light this candle. It's my new Jenny Kane candle, and I love the scent Cedar by Jenny Kane. So I'm just gonna make it extra cozy in here while I clean and light a new candle. I get so excited to light a brand new candle. Oh, the simple things that you can get excited about, I suppose. I 
I always just throw on a vlog literally when I have anything to do, but I've got Brooks on and I started having this playing in the background while I was doing my skincare and I'm going to play this and we're going to get to work on this mound of clothes that I've got over here. Really went hard because... I genuinely feel a million times better. These are just returns. I need to make it Lululemon that just were a smidge too small on me. Well, actually exchanges because I want to get a bigger size. And then that took way longer than what I expected. I had so many clothes to fold and put away. But I feel so much better having such a clean space. My closet is all clean. This was a disaster. I should have shown a before because it was honestly a disaster. And I used every last hanger to put all my clothes away. I don't know if you guys have caught on to this, but I tend to get overwhelmed really easily if my space is not clean. So if I go to bed and I have like a bunch of clothes all over my dresser and I feel like I've got like a cluttered space, which happens very easily in a small apartment. So um, I need to, this is like my reminder to myself that I need to take like 10 to 15 minutes at night just to put away everything and make sure that I don't have laundry because I tend to clean up my bedroom by just like piling it into my closet rather than like taking a couple minutes just to hang everything up and then it piles up and it just leads to being overwhelmed every time I go into my closet so I'm staying up on it and I'm going to take a couple minutes every night just to make sure that my space is clean and not cluttered because that helps my mental health so much so I'm cozy I'm gonna go make some tea and then hopefully it's time to make um, or time to turn on a Christmas movie and have a cozy little night 827 we are right on schedule making some tea right now I actually just made some popcorn as well in the microwave for us to have while we watch a movie but I love this Alabama mug because it's so big for a big cup of tea and then I'm gonna fill back up my mug to get some more water in me I just made some lesser evil popcorn for us Jay texted me earlier he's like we'll have a movie night tonight and we'll make some popcorn so I made a big thing of popcorn and I'm gonna put some everything but the bagel seasoning on there and I already got the Christmas tree on vibes are right Christmas. <laughs> Jay put on his pajamas. I didn't even ask him to. <laughs> Stop. We're matching. I love this so much. This is so cute and cozy. And we have our popcorn. And we're about to watch a Christmas movie. Christmas movie. I think I ought to end off this vlog here. It is time to relax and I will catch y'all tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in my life. We were kind of all over the place, but it was a cozy little day. So I will see y'all tomorrow and I just adore y'all.